Hello friends, welcome back to your favorite DevOps bookmark. Let's talk DevOps. I'm your host Shailesh and today we are here to explore how team topologies can revolutionize your DevOps practices. And to help us know more about it, let's welcome our DevOps expert, Alexander Bursag. Hey Alex, great to have you with us once again. Hi Shailesh, it's great to be back, thank you. So uh, last time you were here, I think our audience might recall that you spoke about DORA metrics and how to measure DevOps performance. And today we are diving into team topologies. So Alex, uh, we have seen that many organizations have fully automated pipelines, yet they still face uh, you know, challenges with efficiency, bugs and overall speed. So uh, can you share how an organization can transcend and overcome these limitations? Yes, absolutely. So technical solutions like CI, CD and pipeline automation are crucial, but it's important to realize for organizations that DevOps is more than just that. It's about fostering a culture of collaboration, of uh, continuous improvement across the entire software delivery organization and the software delivery lifecycle. Even with automated pipelines in place, with automated quality gates, organizations may encounter bottlenecks in communication. Um, they have siloed teams, a lack of alignment between development and business or development and uh, operations. So this is where team topologies comes into play. Structuring to optimize for collaboration and team autonomy. Then we can address the bottlenecks and find places to improve our team structures. Okay, that makes sense. And uh, for the sake of anyone who might not be familiar with the term, uh, can you also shed some more light on uh, team topologies like what exactly do they mean and why are they so essential in DevOps? Certainly, Shalesh. Um, team topologies provide a structure to approach um, organizing teams within an organization. The aim there is to optimize collaboration between teams that need to work together, but overall to generate as much team autonomy as possible, and also to bring the product aligned to the teams. So to have a stream aligned core unit of teams in the center of it. Um, those teams are responsible for end-to-end -end product delivery. So they start with requirements engineering and end with shipping the feature that they just developed down the pipeline and maybe even to the end customer. It depends where you define um, the ending point for the team. This fosters a you build it, you run it mindset within the team. And with that, it nurtures collab uh, collective responsibility, collective uh, code ownership, and collective accountability for the code that the team is building and for the feature the team is building. All right. That sounds like a paradigm shift in uh, team dynamics. So, Alex, uh, what would you say are the biggest advantages of adopting team topologies? Mm -hmm. Um, every hand handover between teams adds planning to have effort to the team. It um, increases the, the cognitive load that the team is carrying. It adds some waiting time. Team A has to wait for team B to finish with their part of the feature. And this can slow down delivery on the long run. It can increase the risk of errors and uh, uh, also the risk of building something that you don't even aim for building, so building the wrong software. By adopting team topologies and switching to stream-aligned teams, we minimize those handovers to the tiniest part possible and streamline the workflow. With that in mind, uh, team responsibilities become more clear, cognitive load is reduced, and you have more efficient processes and a better overall alignment between the teams and the business goals. Awesome. And so if an organization wants to try out and get started with uh, implementing team topologies, what's the best way to go about it? Implementing team topologies requires a systemic approach. You can't just go there and start uh, in the middle of uh, where you're at and try to reshape your teams. 
it's a commitment to cultural change. It needs to uh, have commitment from the team itself and from management as well. Usually we start by assessing with the current team dynamics and see where the handovers between uh, teams are, where the pain points are and where the bottlenecks are. And with that, we try to identify areas of improvement. There are tools and techniques like event storming to find out where the business domains are lying and domain driven designed to shape the software architecture accordingly. And with that, we also have the definite direction where we want to take our streamlined teams to. We can map those out and try to build a further a future team structures. It's crucial with a process like this to involve all stakeholders, to involve business people and the development teams in the process. So we ensure that from the beginning we are building team topologies the right way. OK, that's that's great to know. So uh, for all our viewers who are looking to unlock the full potential of DevOps, what would you recommend as your key DevOps takeaway? Hmm. My key takeaway is to keep in mind that DevOps is not just about tools and technologies. It's much more. It's about the people. It's about the culture and it's about the organization around that. If we embrace concepts like team topologies and domain driven design behind that, if we foster a culture of collaboration, in the end, continuous improvement is not a necessary task that teams have to take, but something that they want to take in order to be able to deliver even uh, faster with a higher continuous flow and uh, even more business needs in mind. Um, organizations can only unlock the full potential of DevOps if they also get into the cultural track of it and not just try to excel in the automation domain. Wow, that is a powerful takeaway indeed. Great. Thank you so much, Alex, for sharing your insights with us today. My pleasure, Shalish. Thank you. Good. And to our viewers, you can also watch our accompanying blog on this topic for any additional information. And of course, do stay tuned for many more enlightening discussions on all things DevOps. Until next time, take care, keep innovating, and keep talking DevOps.